I'm Nani Bivina, the owner of the Bug Hotel. We're the Bug Hotel inspectors. You're most welcome. I'm usually buzzy. I mean busy. <laughs> However, things have been very quiet lately. That's why we're here, to help figure out why you've no guests. Oh, yes. It's a real mystery. You see, as soon as a guest checks in, they turn around and check back out again. And I just can't figure out why. Hopefully, you bug hotel inspectors might find the answer. And sooner rather than later, as today we are hosting a butterfly wedding and it's got to be perfect. We'll do our best. We sure will. Okay, let's check the rooms and make sure they've got everything an insect guest could need. Let's go! The slug suite. Ew! It's so damp and so gloomy. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect for a slimy slug to stay in. You're right, Kiva. I'm giving this room top marks. Wow, this room is dry with lots of places to spin your web from. A splendid spider lodge. I'd love to stay here if I had eight legs. Me too. Top marks. <laughs> wow, this room looks great. Well, it is the Butterfly Lounge. And butterflies love flowers and sunshine. The perfect space for any butterfly. And it smells great too. Don't worry, Angus. Hmm, it's another perfect room. Yeah. Top marks. But that means it's even more of a mystery as to why no one wants to stay in the Bogue Hotel. You're right, Saul. Hmm. Ah, what's that? Is that the drains? Is it a foghorn? Is it Angus? It's coming from downstairs. Come on. Ah, what's that? Ah, you've heard Mr. Spider. He's the hotel's entertainer. He's just practicing for the butterfly wedding. Best, but the poor fellow is frustrated that his organ is out of tune. Nanny Bivina, I think that's why the guests are leaving. Oh dear, do you really think so? It must be Nanny Bivina, as everything else in the hotel is wonderful. But I haven't the heart to tell him. He's ever so nice and just loves entertaining. But if you're sure that's the reason, I'll ask him to stop. Oh my, it won't be much of a butterfly wedding without music. Oh, wait, Nanny. If you listen carefully, it's just one note that sounds off. Ah, yes. Maybe something is stuck in one of the pipes. If we could find out which one and clear it out, then everything would be okay. But there are so many pipes. And the wedding party will be arriving any moment now. Would it be possible to find it in time? We've got to try. Ah, oh, nothing in this one. Or this one. We'll never sniff out the problem pipe in time. Ah, oh, that's it. Maybe sniffing instead of looking is what we need to do. Huh? What if whatever's stuck in the pipe is something that Angus can smell? Then he might be able to find it quickly. Angus! <gasps> Look, Saul. Hmm. There's definitely something stuck in there. I can't reach it. Hmm. <gasps> oh, what if we blow it out? But how? <gasps> Good try, Angus. 
Hmm. Ah! I have an idea. What if we could make something with more puff? Like what? How about a fly-by blower? Great idea, Saul. <laughs> Great mod, Saul. Thanks, Kiva. Now, let's clear that pipe. Three, two, one. Almost there. Keep pumping. <laughs> Yay! Oh, my word. A blueberry? Now, how did that get in there? Give the organ a try, Mr. Spider. Wonderful! Thank you so much, Bug Hotel Inspectors. 